name is Heather, and I live in the Poconos, Pennsylvania, with my two daughters, Casey and Sarah. Beautiful. I've been working in the bridal industry for 11 years. I love working with brides because it's a happy day in their lives. They're glowing, they're excited, and I'm excited to work with them. I came up with my product after watching brides try on their gowns and realizing there was a problem that needed to be solved. So what are you guys gonna paint? I had to put the product idea on the side for about a decade because I wanted to start a family and nobody believed in the idea as much as I did. I'm divorced now, but I never stopped thinking about my product idea. And although I didn't have as much encouragement as I would have liked back then, I have a lot of it now. All we need is those little strings on the top and it would be perfect. I put in $40,000 of my retirement money in this product. Now, that wasn't easy, but I'm glad that I did it. I found the confidence in myself to help my business go all the way. With a shark behind me, we will be unstoppable. Hi, my name is Heather. I'm from the Poconos, Pennsylvania, and I'm the inventor of the Bridal Buddy. I'm seeking $75,000 for 10% equity in my company. Weddings are a magical time for brides, a day every girl dreams about. But there's a not so glamorous side. Imagine, you said your vows, you're at your reception, you're eating, drinking, dancing, having a great time in your gorgeous gown. And all of a sudden, it hits you. I have to pee. What do you do? <laughs> you could recruit the help of your bridesmaids, who are off at the bar two sangrias deep with the groomsmen to help fluff your gown. But I have to pee now. <laughs> what do you do? Sharks, in comes my invention, the bridal buddy. It's a sheer, lightweight slip worn under the gown that helps you bag up oh your dress my. so that you can use the bathroom on your own. You simply bag up your gown. <laughs> 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 wow. Arms through the holes, you'll notice them as there's something blue. Come on. Wow. wow. That is crazy. Then you simply adjust your drawstring oh and voila. My. And go. <laughs> and as you can see. Well, we need the sigh. We need the sigh of relief. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> and as you can see, it wow. backs up her gown and so she can use the bathroom on her own and it protects the gown in the bathroom stall. Wow. And when you're finished, <laughs> you just walk out like that. Simply <laughs> undo your gown, unfurl it, and you're ready to party. Use the bathroom on their own with dignity, one bridal buddy at a time. <laughs> Thank you. Marissa, Thank would you, you mind handing out samples to them? We have samples. I was thinking maybe you could try it on. Thank you. Thank there you go, Lori. Bring the packaging. Normally, you would take one of your bridesmaids into the washroom with you, and she would assist you, which is the long-term tradition of the bridesmaid, to be the maid of the bride, to assist her in her toilet duty. <laughs> you can't listen to him. Is you that what bridesmaids exactly. were first invented? That's the thing is, I am Mr. Wonderful. I'm the king of love and weddings. <laughs> so I know this. Heather, how did you come up with this great idea? Well, I started working in the bridal industry in 1998. I did all sorts of jobs in the bridal industry, but the one question they would always ask is how do I go to the bathroom in this thing? Wow. And they say, oh, you can take your girls in with you. You can wear a garbage bag. That was another thing. I'm like, no, 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 a no, no, no. A garbage, garbage bag. bag? Yes, a garbage bag. Oh, that was bag disgustingly like, who wants to wear that under your beautiful gown? <laughs> I don't. So what I did was in around 2002, I came up with a prototype. And um, I was expecting my children, and I had to um, put it aside. So I was a stay-at-home mom for a few years, and um, then I went finally to live on my own with my children. And um, in the house, I found the bag that I had kept of all my notes and all my materials, and it just hit me. I'm like, it's time. It is time. So I came up with a better version of the original. What year did you start it again? Um, it was 2015. You prayed in 2002, but you've only launched in 2015. Yeah. What happened in that 13 years that you didn't move forward with it? Um, you know, life happens. Without going into too much detail, all I'll say is this. 
you know, surround yourself with positive, encouraging people because that is the way you get ahead. And I have found that out the hard way. Unfortunately, it took me many years to figure that out. What made the change? Because I believed in myself. And I kept working on it and working on it and trying to get the best possible version of it. And here I am and I'm proof that you can overcome any obstacle and get where you want to be. Focus on the future. I am done with the past, but it is a learning experience for me. They always say, look back to learn, look forward to succeed. You're exactly right. Do you have any sales? Or are you still in development? We are up to $195,000 in sales. Wow. And what does what one cost? One costs $29.95. What does it cost you to make it? $14 a piece. Even at low volumes at a $14 cost, this product could easily support a $39.95 price point. I started at $59.95. Yes! Now you're happened? talking. What happened? And, and then that what was happened? great. And I've had brides tell me it's way too expensive. No. It's too much. It's it's like, no, why did would you say that? Did your sales start understand. flatlining? It, it, it did after a, a, a little while. It started to go down. Heather, who's the biggest retailer for a wedding? I forget their name right now. Wedding David's drug. Bridal? Yeah. Have you ever approached I have. that? And what did they say? Their response was, "Is it doesn't go with their merchandise, but it's a they don't very like needed the thing." Potty association. Exactly. Heather, let, let me kind of clear things up a little bit. Congratulations to you for overcoming your obstacles and chasing your dreams. I think you're going to be very successful. But the wedding industry is not something I want to pursue. So come out. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. One hundred ninety-five thousand dollars for a twenty-nine dollar item. That's great. I mean, you're 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 going somewhere. I think the price point is too low. I think that I agree. it's going to be very difficult to sell it one at a time online unless you can make that retail association. Because most brides would buy it at the point of purchase. For that reason, I'm out. I would like to say something on Heather's behalf. Heather is an incredible human being. Uh, when she approached me about this, I was already working two jobs. And the idea of tronking around on Sundays at bridal shows for eight hours in a cold auditorium was not all that appealing. But you know what? I got up here and I showed my underpants to the international community because I believe in Heather. And sometimes when you love somebody, it means you show everybody your underpants. She is brilliant. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, the way that brides respond to this product, I think some of y'all are making a mistake. They freak out. I had one lady tell me she had to army crawl under her friend's wedding dress and tear her spanks apart with her bare hands. This is a product that almost every single bride is going to want. We Marissa, just need to get there. Marissa, you're a great salesperson. Do you have a piece well, of the company? I'm the sales lady. She's the inventor wow. of the flash. Marissa, we did not first of all, that you. is the yep. best speech. Yes we've ever had on here. Yes. Heather is an inspiration. She clawed her way here. It'll we, look, you are, very, you that, are extremely hang on, hang on. loyal and that. very good friend. And when I first started, there were several people that were people that I knew that just weren't believers. And you know, what that did for me is it made a fire inside of me to prove them wrong. And that's what I see from you. They actually did you a favor because they made you stronger. So what are you missing, do you feel? I need connections. I need help to get into those, for the companies to listen to me. I have an offer for you. I think I can help you with the manufacturing of it. I think I could get your costs way down so that you get it into retail at a reasonable price. Um, Mr. Wonderful has a platform, Honey Fund and all the other things. So we have discussed going in together to give you an offer. We are thinking, what if you bring her in? So uh, I have to see if, her in the deal. I have to see her as part of the deal. He wants to see her in because you're, you're by yourself. So you handle whatever parts of the business that we're not talking about here that you know are important. Still and hit you the handle, shows with Larissa. You're still you handle go. the rest of the sales and you help her. And we all be equal partners, 25, 25, 25, 25. If we get all the great purchase orders, we'll help you fund those purchase orders specifically for purchase so orders. you're taking 50% of yes. the business. Yes, it's going to need that. Well, well hang on. I'm it's take not over just manufacturing. You're taking 75% of the business because no, your condition is it, she has Marissa to give up. Marissa has to be part of it. She no. has
has to be proud. Nice. Like, if you want her, you. listen. I if you, you, if you want her to be well, part, hang of on. It. Your offer is seventy-five thousand for fifty percent. Seventy-five percent. Let's no. be real. No, because she has to give up. He wants okay. her to she has have to give that, up. Let's do it a different way. Interested. Heather goes from owning one hundred percent to twenty-five percent. Period. End of story. Figuring out the problem. She's working for you. We can't. We can't bring her in like that. We can't do that. You guys, you guys discuss that very complicated thing. I have a very simple offer. When you told me that it took 10 plus years to get going, I'm telling you my head, I was out right away. I'm thinking, how does it take 10 years? But you know what I've learned? I've learned as long as you get back up there, who the heck cares when it is, but you call, you stand and you get counted for yourself. And I'm proud of it. And I was also reflecting back on my boyfriend who ran off and married my secretary who gave me the gift of my life when he said, you'll never succeed without me, All right? So I get you, you're never going down again. All right, now, here's my offer. I think the only missing ingredient you have is salesmanship. And Marissa is phenomenal at it. So here's the offer. It's $75,000 for 33% of your business up there. I'm gonna go back because I didn't like the offer that we then gave why before. Did you I want to erase it. No, don't look back, look no, forward. Pat, I'm looking forward. So um, I, I don't want it to have to be that you have to be a partner. So if you want to have anything to do with me with this, we have to get rid of that. That was a good that. offer. Here's the deal. You, you get two sharks, we'll drop down to 40% so we have 20 each. You decide what to do with Marissa, but you still have 60% of the company. You decide what you want. There's no contingency that she had. You work if you want, you work if you don't want. Heather, you have two offers. No. Sometimes <laughs> offers go away. Absolutely. Lori, would you be willing to come down a little bit in your percentage? To what? 30%. Kevin. Wow, tough decision, Heather. What about Barb's offer? What about 33, 33 and a third? You know what? I'll do that deal. Kevin. 75 for I, 30. I would do the deal if Kevin will do the deal. Let me understand this. You'll do the deal, 75,000 for 30%. We get 15% each. OK, done. It? It's a deal. Okay. I don't believe it. Thank you, Barbara. Why are you talking to the partner? Congratulations. <laughs> you are a freaking genius. You go, girl. I'm so proud. Oh, baby. <laughs> you did so good. Thank you for bringing me. Here. Thanks for standing up for me. Oh my gosh, of course. I'm not gonna let them push you around. I don't care who they are. Hey, Come here. thanks for being my voice. Next up is a company who wants to make everyone in the wedding party feel as pretty as the bride. Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Charles. We're from Washington, D.C. And we're seeking $250,000 for 10% equity in our company, Bridal Babes, the first bridal fashion company for multicultural women and women with curves. We are changing the bridal fashion game with curve-hugging and attractive bridesmaid dresses. Yes, they do exist, and I'm wearing one today. <laughs> when we were getting married, I remember Ashley mentioning how difficult it was to find the perfect dresses for bridesmaids. My bridesmaid dress shopping experience at traditional bridal shops was horrible. I ended up searching the internet high and low and finally found something that would work. And when my girls put it on, they instantly fell in love. And the wedding went viral because no one had ever seen bridesmaids in such stunning looks before. That's when we knew that we were on to something. We went from high school sweethearts to newlyweds and business partners overnight. Aww. Bridal Babes offers gowns in inclusive sizing, which we pride ourselves on, and a wide range of shades that really pop on all skin tones. Brides and bridesmaids can also shop from the comfort of their home through our live virtual consultations and our thriving social media community. So Sharks, now that you know a little bit about Bridal Babes, who's ready to get 
hit. hit. <laughs> wow, so good. Good job. Wow. Great job, That's guys. Um, yeah. a beautiful Ashley, dress. What do they they're beautiful, first Thank of all. You. Yep, absolutely. What do they cost? Give us an average. We have two collections. Our classic collection averages $13.31, and we price them at $44.05. Wow, it's all, that's it's, amazingly affordable. <laughs> Sorry, how much? You, you sell Ashley's dress. Well, for, not, that's the Lux collection. The okay, how much would Ashley's that. dress be? $67 landed and we'll sell it for about $228 on average. Hang on, that dress is $200? Isn't that Amazing. really expensive for a bridal dress? No. So it's actually not, but we do offer an all. affordable line as well as a more high-end line. And our goal really is to provide as much diversity in the product type because we want to service an audience that has been overlooked for years. I mean, guys, it's you are speaking women. my language 100% <laughs> and entirely. Like, the whole inclusive thing is a huge huge gap in the market. I really just want to understand for you guys, like what is inclusive? Like what are you actually selling? What sizes? Um, inclusive sizing is sizes two through 26, which are actually ready to ship. We also have a special order collection in sizes 26 to 32. The greatest challenge for every business that services weddings is customer acquisition. How are you getting your customer? So our core platform we're on is Instagram. Our Instagram community is about 90,000 followers and we have about 60,000 on TikTok, which has just grown tremendously. We are a community. We talk to our customers. We post three to four times a day, but the secret sauce to getting those customers is the fabric you all have Okay, in front so of is you. it this one? This is what actually changed our entire it? business model. So when we put these dresses out, they went viral because people were like, oh my gosh, this looks like satin, but I see these curvy women in it, which typically yeah, curvy women right. cannot wear satin. Help me understand. I mean, Emma and Lori right away went, ooh, this is great. And I'm sitting here going, why is this great? The key is really the stretch in the fabric. It's so stretchy. So you it drapes your curves. Dance, it drapes your curves. But this also really helps you with returns, right? Yes, because absolutely. If because you've got a fabric like this with this crazy amount of stretch in it, you're not exactly. getting the same returns as with a rigid fabric. Tell us about sales. We had lifetime sales of $2 million. And $2 million? Wanted... Wow. Yes, $2 million. But I also want to talk wow. to you about our growth. So year to date, we're at $850,000. In year one, Which year we're at was that? Too? What year was that? 2019. In year two, we were at $200,000, so it was a nice jump. But we were almost five times that in year three with 950,000. Now, we're a little shy of our goal of 1 million, but we're projected to be there this year at 1.2 million. Wow. wow. That's major, guys. Are you profitable? Last year, we made $20,000. Are you paying yourselves a salary? 60,000. Each or total? Each. All right, that's fine. How much are you guys spending on advertising? So we spend about 30% of our revenue on advertising. And that's super important because each customer we bring in is not just one customer. If right, we can bring in a bride, right. that's eight bridesmaids. I know this business incredibly well. I make inclusive sizing at both Skims and Good American, and it makes the margin profile really tricky. So talk to me about margins on both of the ranges, please. So we're at 70% for both of the ranges. But your direct-to-consumer sales? Yeah, we only sell direct. Can you please tell me your, both of your backgrounds? I was in marketing for a little over a decade before coming full-time. I worked for huge CPG brands like Neutrogena, The Laughing wow. Cow. I was actually doing some of like the first Facebook ads back in 2009, so that's why I'm kind of like the digital person. Gotcha, thank you, and you? Yes, uh, I played football most of my life. Afterwards, I became a child psychiatric specialist at Children's Hospital, and then I moved into law enforcement and became a detective. Wow, are you still a detective or do you no, just full time? No, I actually, I left the police force to completely follow this dream. So guys, what's the vision? What do you want to do with this brand? The biggest thing for us is showcasing diversity in a space that never saw brides and couples or even bridesmaids of color in media campaigns. So it's so important to us to have that component and making sure that we are celebrating all body types. And how big do you want to take the business? Well, Charles has a huge vision. We want to be a $500 million company. Yeah. Whoa. The real question I have is what do you need for you to get to 500 million? What are those first steps you need to take and where do you need help? So we want to get more team members 
to create supply chain efficiency because we want to be able to get the customers what they need, when they need, as fast as we can. How many people do you have working for you? It's just the two of us full time. Charles has one contractor that he works with seasonally. So when you guys get orders, you just grind it out in the warehouse that you yes. have. Yes. That's yeah. Like, so and who's actually mini? making the dresses? So we have a number of manufacturers overseas. What's your lead time on an a dress or dresses? It takes about two to three weeks to actually produce the dresses, um, but then shipping, I'm sure you all know, right, it's so been kind of a nightmare. Yes, um, right so because we've been selling out so quickly, we've had to incur additional costs to do air shipping. Well, first of all, super impressive. I love the business, but I, I can't add value in the bridal dress business. It's just not my forte. Thank you for coming, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I, I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm in this space. I don't know if you know your customer acquisition costs yet. It's one of the highest in the fashion business is capturing the bride when she's making her purchase decision. Yeah. I wish you the best, but it's it's not for me. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, listen, I love the fact that you've managed to stay out of the trap of the kind of traditional wedding business, because it's my belief that any brand that's going to scale and do really well now has to be rooted in some kind of community. It's the only way that we can keep advertising costs down and keep that word of mouth going and keep the customers excited. There's so much promise in this business, so I definitely would love to give you guys an offer. I think that your valuation is a little steep. So you came in asking for 250 for 10%, and I will happily give you guys 250, but I want 25% of the business. Oh, your valuation just got crushed. Two sharks are out. Charles and Ashley have an offer on the table from Emma for their inclusive bridal dress business, Bridal Babes. But she wants a bigger chunk of the business than they came in offering. I think that your valuation is a little steep. So you came in asking for 250 for 10%, and I will happily give you guys 250, but I want 25% of the business. Oh, your valuation just got crushed. Thank you. Um, would you do, um, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> How about 17.5? Make it 20% and you got yourself a deal. We got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Thank Amazing. Thank you look so beautiful. Thank you. Congrats, guys. Thank well you guys. Well done. Well done. Have a good one. They're onto something. They're onto an absolute winner. That's old. Oh, That's old. I cannot old. believe it. We did it. You did. Congratulations. I love you so much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next in the tank is a way to have fun but keep it classy. Same suit I wore at my wedding. <laughs> Hi, Sharks. This is my husband, Ryan Moynihan. And this is my wife, Kelly Moynihan. We are from Delray Beach, Florida. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Today, we are seeking $50,000 in exchange for 10% equity in our company. Sharks, we have made saying I do a lot more fun. What if I told you I had a margarita in my hand? Or two glasses of wine? Would you believe me? So many brides hide their drink behind someone else's back for pictures, but now the bride... <laughs> and her entire tribe... ...can sip in true wedding style. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> That's what's up right there. Oh. Our company is called Flasky Flowers, and it's exactly as it sounds. A flask within its flowers. What? <laughs> so now when a bride or a groom is walking down the aisle, they can hold a beautiful bouquet with a 12-ounce beverage of their choice in the palm of their hand. Literally Brilliant. in the palm of their hand. And it's simple. You pick it. They can be genuine. They can be artificial. Heck, it can be lollipops. You snip it. To the size that works best for you. You stick it. Anywhere you want because you really can't mess it up. Fill it. Obviously with the drink of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> you snap it. Oh my God. And you sip it. To stay hydrated all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so now sharks, the real question, who wants to raise their flasks with us? Yeah, baby. Walk down this aisle oh, and say I do. do. Oh my God, so, so cute. Yes.
Where's the straw? Wow. If Keep you spinning. It, you just put right it in your mouth, there. Laurie. Okay. I have to understand the genesis of this story. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a hairdresser um, by trade, and I was doing a lot of weddings, and I watched all the girls getting ready, doing their hair, and drinking, and then out the door with their flowers in their hand, and that was my moment. I came home, and I said to Ryan, We've got, I've got something. <laughs> We've got to do this. <laughs> and I made a prototype that night. And I used my baby's formula bottle, <laughs> a plastic <laughs> martini glass. Haley and Ryan. All right, so <laughs> Kelly, show us. That anybody that says America is not the greatest country in the world with the most creative <laughs> entrepreneurs, you put them wrong. You. <laughs> Kelly, tell me, let me see the product by itself so that we know under the flowers what's happening. Where does the wine or the alcohol go right. or the water? It goes underneath and it's completely sectioned off. Yes. yes. So the flowers are not touching your drink at all. No. Are you selling any of these? Our sales are $21,000. And how long so, have you been selling them, and what do they sell for? They yeah, sell how for long? $20. They cost me $1.77 to make. Yeah! <laughs> and do you make them in the USA or where? They are 100% made in the USA. That's very Kelly, cool. how do you sell them? Is it all online? Just online. So how much did it cost you to make the mold and the tooling? What did you have to invest in this? So we actually sold our house. <laughs> so wow. we Whoa. could get the money. He quit his job. So Double he could wow. take care of the kids, and I could focus on this and make it a reality. Um, I put in $60,000. Triple woe. And how many kids do you have? We have seven. What? Seven? seven. Oh, my you God. No wonder he quit his job. Why did you this? So let me understand this. So you come up with the idea. You sell your house. <laughs> you both quit your jobs. You're all oh in. You have 60 k into it. You sold how much to date? 21,000. 21,000. Yeah. What are you living off of? Well, I do hair. We took off in 2019, and it was awesome. And then I was pregnant with baby number seven, and we didn't know, but when she came out, she needed open heart surgery. Aww. So it took the wind out of my sails, but I said to him, January 2020, I'm signing up for shows. We're getting back into it. And then COVID hit. Oh. <laughs> and as we know, the biggest... Yeah, the wedding industry yeah. went nowhere. Went, yes. yeah. And it just... We're in a place right now where, with the seven kids, we are skating by. <laughs> what made you risk so much with seven children to feed, you quitting your job, for this idea? Why would you risk so much? Risk because it all, Because I right? know it's possible. I know, yeah. I know if I keep moving forward with this, I'm, there's a finish line, and I'm gonna get to it, and if it's a million dollar idea, it's gonna buy me a two car garage. <laughs> it's gonna pay for my kids' college <laughs> education. If you keep education. on moving, you can't fall over, right? How much inventory do you have right now? 1,500. In today's world, you can't just go the extra mile, you have to go the extra marathon. Yes. So, yes. I like it. I, that's what you did. I love it. I, I love mean, it. You took a shot, yes. you took a chance, yes. you got in here. Um, I think it's funny, novel, fun. I think people will love it. So I'm going to give you an offer. Oh, okay. I will give you the 50000 for 20%. Okay. But wait, there's more. Mark and I, having already done deals like this with Crazy Chicken Ideas and having made money, have decided to go together, all right? So you get two sharks instead of just one. Oh, and they're tailor-made for this business. Yeah. Well, I'm in the wedding business. There's no or we can even get Lori to come in with us. I'd love to put Lori into this mix, but we need, we need at least each 10%. you got to realize that. But we, you know, if it was going to be 25, 25, right? So we can put in another 25 to get it to 30, right? So 75 grand that we'll invest for 30% of the company. We realize since you're seven and you've got a full-time job, right. you both have full-time yes. jobs, right? Oh, this right? is going to be my full-time job, yes. though. Well, but we, we need to help you get to that point first, right? Before you can quit what you're doing because you're not in a position to quit day one. So for the three of us in there, 25 grand each for 30%. We, we give you more money than you asked for. We just get 10%. You got three sharks on a very crazy chicken idea. Yeah. May I make you a standalone offer? I'll I can't believe this is getting I'll multiple give you offers. Fifty thousand dollars for only five percent of the business, but I want to choose two of your children to take home. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give you that same offer. You know what? You've got seven. You're not going to miss them. Yeah, I will. I will. I no, will. on a serious note, I'm not going to make an offer. You have great offers here. I'm out. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, yeah. Barbara. Thank you. <laughs>
So you what shouldn't do you think, have guys? to sell yes your no. Guys, it doesn't get better than this. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, really doesn't. No. They couldn't ask for anything more than that. I think it's amazing, and I think we are so excited. And 100% yes to all three yeah. of you. Yes. 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 So, I said we drink to that. Yes. Let's yes. drink to it. Yeah. Oh my That's goodness, fantastic. I can't believe it. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. I would have thought the chance of this happening were zero. Oh my gosh, I thought it was 100. <laughs> Guys, thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank you yes, so much. Yes, yes. Incredible. Yes. Oh That's just sheer fun. Oh, we're yep. out of here. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>